Hello, 7th graders. Mr. Evans here. Got some lab equipment in front of me, and you're going to be learning about what these things are and what they do and how they can be used. And this will be very beneficial to you for labs upcoming. Also, you'll be this will be one of your competitions that you got to know. So important to pay attention what I got here, what the names are, and how they're used. I kind of got them grouped by classification and what they do. So we'll start with this big old group right here. These are all used for measuring things. We've got a lot of different things here that can be used to measure and some of these other things are used along with them. So let's first start with things like this, like that, like this, and this. Let's put them all next to each other. These are all the same name. Let's get this here like that. All of these things this one, this one, this one, and this one, they're all beakers of various sizes. They hold any type of liquid. They got markings on the side called graduations. This one goes by 10. And this is a 50 milliliter beaker. This one is a 200 milliliter beaker. And the big one here, this is a 600 milliliter beaker. And it's got markings on the side to show you how much liquid it can hold and um, how much you have. So these come in handy. To measure also, we have these things. They're called graduated cylinders. They're narrower, but they have um, different sizes as well. This one is a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, and the markings on the side go up by one milliliter. This is like the big cousin. This was a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, and it goes up by tens. And if you want to be really accurate, you want to use one of these things instead of using a beaker. We also have this contraption here. This is called an Erlenmeyer flask. And you may be wondering why the top is narrow, unlike the beaker. Well, if you've got something boiling in here, it's splashing out a lot of liquid. You don't want to get it on your hands, so they made it narrow, so not a lot of things can splash out when it's hot and boiling. We also have things that go along with these measuring devices, like we have this funnel that can be used to put inside something to pour in. If you want to pour chemicals in and not spill it out, you can use a funnel for that. We also have these. These things are called tongs. They can be used to pick up hot things. We have this. It can be stuck in a beaker. It's upside down now. This is a thermometer. It's not very no, nothing very new to you guys. You can put it in there. Look at the temperature. We also have digital thermometers as well, but I don't have them to show. We also have this thing right here. Oh, don't break things. This is called a stirring rod. You hold it like this, you stick it in something and stir it up. Instead of using your finger, that wouldn't be very safe. Okay, so those are the different items. Let's recap them again. These things here are beakers. These things here are graduated cylinders. This is an Erlenmeyer flask. This is a funnel. This is a stirring rod, these are tongs, and that is a thermometer. If I was you, I'd pause the video now and quiz yourselves on these different things before we go on. All right, to the next group. These items here are all used for the Bunsen burner apparatus. So let's start with the main one. This is the Bunsen burner right here. It's, you, it's hooked up with this thing. This connects right there, and the other end would connect to a gas line, like so. Then you would turn it on and light the Bunsen burner with this thing. This is a striker. You push down and across, and it will spark. To light it, you just hold it angle like that, and spark, and it will light eventually. I don't have any gas on, so it's not going to do it now. This thing here is called a tripod. That's this thing here. This is called a wire mesh. Now, you may be wondering what it's used for. Well, sometimes you want to heat things up. So you have the Bunsen burner underneath hooked up to the gas line, and then you'd have a beaker like that on top with the flame going up and heating the liquid. And that's when you can put your thermometer in and check the temperature, and you can even stir it up with a stirring rod. So there you go. Let's recap all of our friendly Bunsen burner items. We got the Bunsen burner. We got the hose. We got the striker. 
we got the wire mesh, and then we got the tripod. If I was you again, now would be the time to review these things before I'm going to go on to the last group of items. All right. The last group, these are all associated with the test tube, which would be this thing right here. These are test tubes. They come in all different sizes, not just that. The thing that holds a test tube is very simply called the test tube rack. To hold the test tubes, you have this thing called the test tube holder. You just pick it up like that. It grips the bottom. You can turn it upside down. Or sometimes the test tube would be in a rack like that or in something. You want to get it out without touching it. It would be hot. So you can grab it like this and pull it up like so. Okay. We also have the test tube brush. This thing is used to clean the test tubes. You put it in there like this. You'd stir it around like so, and then eventually you can take it out and it cleans all the gunk out of it. It's hard to do this with one hand, though. No, you're supposed to use two. This thing here, if I can grab it, there we go. This is called a pipette. It's used to get liquid and put it into test tubes, like drops, stuff like that. All right, let's recap the test tube things. We have the test tube, test tube rack. We have the test tube holder. We have the test tube brush. Notice all the things have a name of test tube in them. And then finally, this thing here, this is called the pipette. It's used to drop liquids in and get liquids out of things without having to put it in your hand or hold it. So it's a safety issue as well. All right? So if I were you again, I would go over these items before you guys take the quiz. Now remember, you're going to have to know all of these things and what they do for the competition. So... Good luck.